Greetings, this is Bloodrill, and welcome back to Let's Play Techno Babylon. Hey, Lau. Yeah? Got any ideas where we can look next? I thought you were supposed to be the lead on this case. Hmm. We could look into that other lead. What was his name? Gil Vanderwall? Yeah, that's the one. I thought Vanderwall made it pretty clear he wasn't going to speak to us. Yeah, I did that Might just be the way you handled him. Tact is apparently not your strong point. I like to speak my mind. I'll contact him and see if he's more open to persuasion. He might cooperate if you're not there threatening him with physical injury. He's a dyed-in-the-wool felon. He deserves worse. But if he can help us... All right. See what you can do. Looks like we found our latest casualty. Damn it. Why him, though? I was wondering the same thing. We're assuming the Mindjacker's a data thief. The usual MO would be to target valuable info he can sell on the black market. But this guy... He was an HR administrator. Apparently a very good one, but not the kind who'd be let in on company secrets. We'll just have to ask the Mindjacker when we catch him. Let me know if you find anything. We'll do, Regis. Wait, is there anything else here? I don't think so, actually. Let's see if we can leave. Yes, I can. What is my goal here, exactly? Though you can tolerate Dr. Santiago's opinions, it looks like Dr. Preston's the only one in the office. I'd rather avoid another sermon on the merits of centralized government. Locked. Dr. Santiago must be working on something he doesn't want me seeing. Locked. Nope. What's with the... These guys and their... Rather... Fascist movement. Alright, same thing. What the hell happened? Mm. Can visit different places. This is very pretty. I will uh, visit different places, but I wanted to check on the right first. What the hell is that? Nothing. Okay. This is nothing, this is nothing, this is nothing. There is a guy here, or a child. They picked this guy up last night. He's got something in his wiring that might be contagious. I guess that means I'm safe, but still, poor kid. So this guy doesn't like technology, or other technology in himself. They picked this. I guess that. Hey, kid, you all right? Hey, kid. Nope. I don't think he's. Stop it. <laughs> Alright, yeah, there is some pointer issues and that's probably because the game only plays in um, window mode, so I had to use the borderless window um, program to actually full screen it. Alright, let's try it to the garden. The game is pretty, despite the Lores uh, thing it has going. Very nice colors. When people worry, there's always something they find to help them. Drinking, the trance, even God sometimes. Me, I've got a place I like to go to. It's helped me when I've been troubled in the past. You're paying 8,000 uh, whatever the hell is the denomination to have this small garden to yourself. That's weird. I guess it depends on how much money he's making. If he's making, let's say, I don't know, 60k per month, 8,000 for a garden is not a lot. 
Otherwise, yeah, that's uh, a bit much. Better not move it, it's where it ought to be. Not even having to glance for a moment, those words are etched in the memory deeper than anything else. Pixar edges. Beloved wife, friend to all that lives. 11th August 2034 to 2. Uh, January 2067. Think of us not as engineers, but as artists. But he was an engineer before he became a cup, I guess. I guess they are cups, I'm not sure. And probably because of what happened uh, to his wife from that killer, maybe. Hmm. We are not in the mood for gardening, okay? Can you sit? No. What's in the locker? It's empty. It, there is nothing in the locker. Well, there is nothing to do here. But meditate, I guess. I'm not climbing that. It's sickly enough as it is. Why it is it sickly? It took a lot of work though? to make, but it was worth it. This engineered tree is the kind of memorial I think she'd appreciate. Ah, so he made the tree. Engineered it, or bioengineered it, I guess. Cool. Alright. Uh, can I do anything with this? Mm, not really. Nah. Yeah, let's, okay. <laughs> let's not then. I guess we're going back to the Animus. I feel like I'm playing Assassin's Creed when I say Animus. I'll need to finish uh, Unity at some point. Alright, let's see. Hmm. Yes, Doctor. Carry on, Corpsman. I guess we're going up. I'm not sure if I even meant to be here or where am I meant uh, to go. The elevator is locked. In. And I can't go up anymore. So. Hmm. Lau, you there? Regis? Uh, I. Uh, uh, hmm? You alright, Max? Huh? Oh. Uh, yeah, yeah, just my in out bandwidth. Central's monopolizing my wiring with the debrief. Makes it hard to concentrate on things outside the trance. Uh, is it important? Never mind. It can wait. I'll tell Central you said hi. Alright, I guess I'm going back to the headquarters because I can't see anything to do here. A big old jolt's not gonna make it. Uh, fine. All right. Hey, Lau. Yeah? Let me know if you find anything. We'll do, Regis. So, nothing here either, really. Hmm. Nothing. Ah. Sure. Well, that's why we need the... Yeah, the secure location, okay. Well, let's go to the garden then. That should be a secure location. Of course we can maybe open it here, but uh, I'm not sure that's a good idea actually. Save it. I trust Max. But I know Central would hear everything and sell headquarters. Okay. We can't, although we have disabled the camera. Apparently there are uh, audio surveillance as well. Cool, to our secret spot. 
It's probably not so secret, but uh, hopefully surveillance free. The data package attached to that message. Whoever sent it wants me to open it in a private place. Hopefully it contains something that'll help us get to the mind jacker, but I'm still suspicious. Here goes nothing. Dr. Regis. Yes. Wow. Regis? What the f- Central's still giving us a negative on the aerostat. It's like it just vanished. So I thought I'd better give you a heads up. Do you mind? I was in the middle of something. How did you find me? Central told me you'd be here at Fulcrum Tower. Also, it said, stop turning your traveler off. What a surprise. I like my privacy, though. That's why I come here. You hang around the balconies much? I come up here from time to time. I can see why. It's a great view. Not for someone with a fear of heights, though. Is it a private garden? Max, I... Viksha Regis. Well... Charlie, this is... I'm sorry. I, I didn't know. You shouldn't. I don't tell anyone. Wow. I know you've got some seriously high up strings you can pull, but I didn't think they'd ever let someone be buried up here. And how the hell can you afford somewhere like this? Good question. Uh... We were married for four years. I'm sorry it couldn't last. We met in our professions. She was a gen engineer as well. You didn't have kids? My previous work... well, it left both of us infertile. We had embryos prepared through IVF, but we never got to using them. I'm really sorry. I remember reading... it was Baxter, wasn't it? Don't push it, Dr. Lau. Wow, yeah. Sorry. I mean... Barriers. <laughs> she isn't buried up here. She was processed, like anyone else. I see. The tree's special, though. I made it myself, from scratch. Planted and grew? No, made. It's a cross of Chrysophyllum canato and Prunus serrata. The junk DNA in every cell of it contains her entire genome. Wow. wow. Takes a lot of looking after. But you're doing it for her. Makes it all worth it. I think I figured out why you went off the grid to come up here tonight. You heard about Baxter, didn't you? They let a monster like that walk. They didn't parole him because they approve of what he did. He's out because he's got skills Central thought would be useful. With a governor jammed in his limbic system. Well, he won't be the same man. He can't even imagine hurting anyone again. Even if it were completely true, I know that there is absolutely no way I could forgive him. On the bright side, he'd probably be pretty mad at you, too. Well, if he could have thoughts like that anymore without falling over and puking, you put him away, and that counts for something. I know it's not exactly normal for you to open up, but if you want someone to talk to, I... Central wants us? I'm afraid so. We better get going. Yeah, damn it, I didn't even hear the message. You coming? I just need a moment to think, Max. A little privacy? It's why I came up here in the first place. I understand, Charlie. I'll be in the car. I'll see how long I can stall Central. Max, I... Yes? Nothing. That's all right, Charlie. I understand. I'll be in the car. I can't ask for her help in this. I'm not even sure what this is yet. You are alone, as requested? Yes. Now what is this about? 1448D-A, 1448D-B, 1448D-C, 1448D-E. Excuse me? Your stomach alerts as you recognize the image. You know them, you've seen them before, but you haven't remembered them by number. 144... Okay. Whoever is calling you has four embryo containers, your own. What about them? They were removed from the El Rassis Medical Center, originally deposited at 1615 on the 11th of November 2065. They have been fertilized oh. by yourself and Dr. Viksha Regis. They were frozen at the earliest viable phase of growth. Three are female and one is male. They were deposited after your fertility treatment proved... Stop! Why are you telling me this? Who are you? And what are you doing with my kid... my embryos? You are about to meet with a That's contact, Gil Vanderwall. 
In his home is an active memory module, a most unique model. You will secure it for us. Further instructions will follow. Blackmail. And what if I don't? That image could be a sim. Apparently, you need more incentive not to waste my time. Not cool, bro. One is gone. Three remain. Do it quickly. Your legacy is in jeopardy. Wow, that goes dark. A conflict brews in your mind and in your heart. Giving in to blackmail like this would be the antithesis of everything you stand for, both as an agent of the law and as a human being. On the other hand, you cannot bring yourself to risk a small part of the legacy that you've worked for so many years to, to maintain. To save the lives of our children? I think I can accept that. I don't think you should. Myself. But apparently I get no choice in this. So, despite the incident at Animus, I may have some good news. We might have a break in that string of mindjackings. Vanderwall agreed to talk. I, uh, yeah. How'd you guess? He couldn't hold out forever. What did he say? Didn't want to talk over the... Lau? Central wants a word. Dr. Regis. Dr. Lau. This isn't just a social call for an update, is it, Central? Dr. Regis, lately you have spent a great deal of your time off network. It is for your safety and that of the citizens that we... Central? All points bulletin, evacuation in progress at Barber's Gate Transit Station. Case officers Regis and Lau assigned to crisis management. What's happening at the... All case data has been transferred to Dr. Lau. Your vehicle oh. has been rerouted. Please seek an expedient resolution to the situation. Central out. Business-like as ever. Let's go see mm. what this is about. I think Cedric was about to suggest we, I guess, hook up with uh, wetware or whatever the hell they call it. Even the drones are helping to evacuate commuters from their station. What the hell is going on? I guess we'll find out in the next episode. Thank you for watching. Subscribe, like, leave a comment if you want to. I will see you next time with more Techno Babylon.